Kennedy and, Kennedy and Donna Hook. So she is back next. You've asked to have your daughter baptized. So do it. You're accepting the responsibility of training her in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring her up to God's commandments, as Christ taught, as Christ taught us by loving God and her neighbors. Parents, do you clearly understand what you're undertaking? Yes. Kennedy and the Christian community, the Christian community welcome you with great joy. This name I claim you for Christ to have saved by the sign of his cross. Now trace the cross with part. Invite your parents and godparents to do the same. So with a thumb, we trace the cross with your part. blessing before baptism. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son to the world to cast out the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, to rescue humanity from the kingdom of darkness, and bring us into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for Kennedy Ann, set her free from original sin, make her a temple of your glory, and set your Holy Spirit to with her. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. After the holy oil, holy oil, oil of catechumens, on the parent of baptism, the symbolism of the oil that she's being strengthened her resolve in the Christian. I know her in the forehead, saying this phrase. Kennedy Ann, we anoint you with all salvation. In the name of Christ our Savior, may he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. My dear friends, God uses this sacrament of water to give us divine life to those who believe in Let us turn to him now and ask him to pour his gift of life from this month to this child he has, he has chosen. That says the water already been blessed, so we say a prayer of invocation. You've called your child Kennedy Ann to Kennedy Ann, this cleansing water new birth, and by sharing the faith of your church, she might have eternal life. In this blessed water, she will be reborn. We ask today, ask you this, in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Parents of God, parents, you've come here to present your daughter to baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, she is to receive the gift of new life from God of love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring her up, bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her is kept safe in the poison of sin. You are always stronger in heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, we need to renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Confess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which Kennedy Ann is about to be baptized. So we're now going to renew our baptismal promises and confess our faith. I invite the congregation to stand and join us to <laughs> Parents and God, parents in this congregation, I ask you, do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you reject sin, so as to live the freedom of God's children? I do. The profession of faith, three questions. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord? who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud of professing in Christ, and profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. It's at your will, then, that your daughter be baptized in the faith of the Church, which we just professed with you. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs>
Now, right after baptism, we have anointing with another oil. This oil is called chrism. The word chrism and the word Christ are almost identical. For the, false. the word Christ means the anointed one, and the oil is the anointed one. Chrism. God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, and given you a new birth by water of the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you and his holy people. And I anoint you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live as may you live always as a member, member of his body, sharing the everlasting. In the end, you become a new creation and clothe yourself in Christ. See in this white garment you are wearing an outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by worthy example, bring that dignity unstained in the everlasting life of them. In candles that symbolize Christ the light of the world, the light of the Easter candle, which symbolizes the risen Christ. Parents. Parents and godparents, you see the light of Christ. This light is entrusted to you to be kept running brightly. Your daughter has been enlightened by Christ. She is to walk always as a child of the light. May she, keep, may she keep the flame of faith alive in her heart. When the Lord comes, may she go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear the dumb speak. May you shut your ears to receive his word. Your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. You are put on Christ, and you have been baptized. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Congratulations. Thank you.